my name is Karen Hanley. I'm a senior solution architect here at RKL eSolutions. I'd like to do a presentation to explain how the time and material billing works for grants. So I'm going to start in the grant module and I have set up a time and material federal grant. And time and material means that I'm going to incur costs throughout the month. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to bill that back. And I say month, it could be the quarter, whatever time frame you decide. So on the grant, there's a place where you would set up that it is a time and material type grant so that it will capture all of my billable expenses. On the resource and pricing tab, there is a place where I can set up rates. So for labor rates, what it will do is it will take your timesheet data, multiply times a labor billing rate to come up with an amount to be charged back against this grant back to the donor. So in this case, I have a billing rate of $125 and I have just one billing rate set up. You could actually set this up by employee as well or based on different items. You also have an option on whether or not you want to mark up your expenses or expenses and costs coming through accounts payable and purchase orders. So in this example, I have an item called billable charges and I'm gonna mark those up 5%, anything that comes through an expense report. And that's just to cover my overhead costs for processing that expense report. And any expenses that come through accounts payable and purchase orders, I'm gonna mark those up by 7%. You do not have to do a markup. Um, you could just do pass through costs at expense as well. What Intact will do is as you process timesheets, expenses, and AP expenses, it's going to track those and indicate whether or not they've been billed or not. If I go to the grant summary tab and scroll down, there is a section here for hours and it's going to show me my billable hours and whether or not they've been billed or not, and if I have non-billable hours. So I have 172 hours that I have accumulated on this project, and they have not been billed yet. If I scroll down to employee accounts payable and purchase orders, I can see that I have billable expenses from expense reports as well as from AP and purchase orders that have not yet been billed. I can also see that I have PO commitments of 117,000, and a PO commitment means that I don't have the expense yet. I have not gotten the invoice, but I've put a purchase order or contract into the system and it lets me know that I have this amount allocated. So it's a commitment of an expense that I will be incurring. So as you're processing time expense, Intex is going to accumulate this information. At the end of the month or the quarter or whatever time period you choose, you would go into the grant module, go to generate invoices, I'm gonna choose my particular grant. You can apply any filters. So in this case, I only want to see data that was through March 31st. And I'm gonna use that as a cutoff date because I'm not ready to bill my April expenses. And I'm gonna hit preview. So based on what has been incurred, it tells me that the total amount of this invoice is $12,849. I scroll down. Here are the timesheet entries. So every person who worked on this particular grant is listed in here with the hours that they worked and my billing rate. And again, this could be different for different employees. I just put in a base rate of 125 for everybody. Below that, I see my employee expense reports and I have a 5% markup on my expense reports. If I scroll down further, I will see my accounts payable and on here, I have a 7% markup on these. You also could have things that come in from the purchase order module or from order entry if I have contract amounts that I'm gonna bill through. Now, this is what it's planning on putting on the invoice. I may decide that some of these I'm not ready to bill for whatever reason. So I can go ahead and uncheck and say, you know what, I'm not going to bill these labor lines. So now if I scroll back up to the top, it has adjusted my invoice amount and I'm gonna go ahead and hit create invoice. So it is gonna generate an invoice with all the details. So I'm gonna look at my list of invoices. I'm just gonna refresh this screen. And here is my federal grant. 
And here are all of the line items, and here's my invoice amount that we saw on the other screen. So what this does is it's giving me the amount that I should be reimbursed for this period. You don't have to actually generate this invoice, but you can use this to know what you are owed. So these are the expenses that I incurred this period. Then I want to go and ask for reimbursement. Now, what will happen is when I go back the following month, and so I'm going to go in and say, okay, now I'm billing for April expenses, for example. I'm going to change my filter. And it will also bring up any expenses that I did not select last time. So I'm going to scroll down to the timesheets and you'll see there's a bunch of entries here from March and that's because I had unchecked them. So they will keep appearing until I go ahead and bill for them. If you want to write off things, that's done differently. But the way this works is as soon as you select something, it drops off the list. If you decide not to bill it, it will keep showing up until you bill it. So it's really handy because Intact will keep track for you what you have billed and what you have not billed so that you can make sure that you get reimbursed for everything that you're supposed to get reimbursed for. So then I would go ahead and create this invoice for April, which is going to include my April plus the March things that I did not choose last month. And again, if I go back to my project and go back to the tab that has my grant summary, I'm going to hit a refresh and I'm going to scroll down is it will now show me what has been billed. And at this point, I only created the March bill. But now I can see that my total billable hours is 172. I've billed 50 and I have 122 unbilled hours. And then the same on the expenses. Here's the amount that I've actually billed and it will keep track of what my billable expenses are so that again, I make sure that I get reimbursed for everything. So this concludes the presentation on how to do a time and material project billing.